Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday to you. I thought it's been a while since I've done a vlog and I've only done, I think, one Saturday vlog before. So I thought it might be fun to bring you along. Today is a beautiful day. Sunshine, it's already 60 degrees and spring has sprung here. It's beautiful. I'm gonna take you in a moment out on a walk so you can kind of see some green leaves and green grass and some flowers. I also thought today would be a good day to bring you along because I have a mishmash of all kinds of things I need to fit in today, including an unboxing of Daily Look. I don't know if you've heard of that, but it's kind of like Stitch Fix, but you get 12 items. I have not even opened the box yet. This is my first ever, so I thought it would be fun to try those on. I also have a Sunday song to edit. I've got a practice at the church, so I might bring you along so you can meet our two dogs over there. Yes, we do actually have two dogs. And then I also just have some other things around the house here, like handy woman duties. <laughs> I need to replace the filter in my refrigerator. I also am going to attempt to replace the handle on my toilet. I know, you never knew, right? That I was also a plumber but I just thought it would be fun to bring you along today. So as you saw, I already did my supplements. I always do that every day. And now we're gonna head out on a walk. Sometimes on a Saturday, I'll do my walk later in the afternoon, but I thought for today, because I've got so many things going on, I wanted to make sure I fit it in before too much of the day goes by. I already have my sunscreen on my face, and then I just applied this Black Girl Sunscreen Make It Pop Sun Gloss SPF 50. I've been using this for about a week. It's really nice. I love that it's not only SPF 50, but it does provide some really good moisture and shine and it smells like vanilla cake. So who doesn't love that? All right, I'm going to go get my sunglasses on and my tennis shoes, my watch, and we're going to head out for a walk. Get my glasses a little white down here. These are my VG sunglasses. You've probably seen me talk about these before on an ad, but these are my favorite right now. So prescription sunglasses, but you know, who says you can't go out for a walk looking really chic, right? All right, let's head out the door. that we have birds chirping. I'm trying to keep up with the weeds here. My way back, my walk. Just a little glimpse of our backyard as spring is beginning. There's a few, oh yes, okay, so our plum tree is in bloom and society garlic. But the most beautiful is this tree and the blooms are almost gone. But so a nectarine tree, so pretty. This bush is gonna be beautiful soon. And all of our rosemary is in blue. It's so pretty. bushes are just on the verge of starting to get some blooms. I can't wait. Now the real project, and this is going to be saved for another day. I'm waiting for one more day of rain, but oh my goodness. Oh, this is the project for the spring. I've already drained this once and have to drain it again. All of the rain that we've had, 
that is probably just in the last month it's filled up <laughs> so need to get that going though because I am so ready to sit out here and enjoy the sound of the water feature always get asked about this creamer. It's the super creamer and this is the one that does have dairy in it. There is a dairy free one as well. But this is sweetened with monk fruit. Really good for you. Get some extra protein and it tastes delicious. And then of course my usual breakfast. If you haven't seen this before, I have a half of one of these, the protein the Pro Max protein bar. I love the Nutty Butter Crisp and the chocolate chip cookie dough. Those are the best. First cup of coffee. Yes, there will be a second. This is a, you know, smaller-ish cup. It's new from Marshalls. I love that it says happiness because, you know, happiness is coffee. For today, because I have so many different little things I need to get done, I am going to spend a few minutes. I don't always do this on a Saturday, but... I'm gonna spend a few minutes making a to-do list and kind of organize my thoughts, organize my day, and then hop in the shower and then we'll get some stuff accomplished today. Saturday wouldn't be complete without having to do at least some laundry, right? <laughs> I just have a few things to hang up. I have one load in the dryer. You can probably hear it, but I'm folding up. I don't know if any of you have checked into compression socks lately, but these are from Nurse Yard. I'm just checking them out, trying them on days when I'm on my feet, and I don't know, we'll see if they make a difference. So of course, if you're like me, I don't dry my jeans in the dryer, so always have to hang those up. There's my clothesline. <laughs> on my second cup of coffee and I've chosen my outfit for the day. So I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed, get ready, get some stuff done, and then we'll do our unboxing and try on. This is what I've chosen for today. So I pulled out some capris. These are, they're almost like ankle jeans and then a tank and just a very lightweight sweater. I love this, it's got holes in the sleeves. Jergens Sweet Citrus Lotion and this is my perfume choice for the spring. It's the new Escada Santorini Sunrise. It smells kind of like a fruit basket but I don't mind that. <laughs> then I'm gonna do a step to prep for tomorrow morning because I have to get up and get going tomorrow and I don't do baths and I'm so happy to see somebody finally came up with a way for us who take showers to enjoy aromatherapy. These are the Body Restore Shower Balms, and this is the Energized Citrus Grove. My dear friend got me started on these at Christmas, and this is how they used to come wrapped. This is the grapefruit one. The Cocoa Citrus is actually my favorite, but these are pretty good too. And now they come wrapped like this, and you just unwrap them and set the tab in your shower. And personally, these last actually for almost a week for me. You just have to make sure you don't get them in a steady stream of water, just kind of off to the side. And I love these. Oh my goodness, welcome to my week. It's just been a little crazy. Um, as you can see behind me, I'm gonna clear all this off, but have some PR I got in. And I, I think I'm gonna be doing an Instagram reel on this whole collection from Siate London. They were so sweet, they sent me two different kind of groupings of products and I've been testing a few of them. So plan on doing a look with that. And then let's see, Laura Geller was very kind to send me um, their two shades of their balance and brightening foundation along with their brush. I have some thoughts on this foundation, but I want to keep testing it. Today, I actually pulled out the double take foundation because I got this at the end of the year 
and I want to give this a try with the Laura Geller Spackle in the bronze shade. So as you can see, I look a little tanner than I normally do. I just applied sunless tanner yesterday. Didn't do it to my face yet. I have a couple more products from the Gen C brand. I've been loving their Spectator Sport Mascara. And then I received a couple of items from Method Beauty. They sent me, all right, this is the whole eyebrow stamping kit. I've used it once and I, I like the color. That's a good thing of the gel, but I just, I don't know, I struggle <laughs> with these the whole process. Um, but then they also sent me the winged eyeliner stamp, perfect for wings. Hmm, maybe that'll be fun to try. And then back here, what else do we have? Oh, just a couple things I personally ordered. I am definitely going to put these on. This is the Lisa Eldridge, her Elevated Glow. I purchased the shade Pink Moon. I previously had it in Crystal Nebula. This is a really nice formula beautiful packaging. And then I decided this spring and summer, I'm going to get out of my comfort zone. And I've had in my mind this specific color of bright pink that I'm just sure I can figure out how to wear. It just makes me feel happy and spring-like. And in her Lucite, this is her luxurious Lucent lip color. So it's not full on opaque matte, but you can build up the color, but check out this color. Oh my goodness, it is such a beautiful shade. I put this on yesterday while I was cleaning my house. <laughs> my husband came home and he was like, hmm. So we might use a little bit of that today. And then the final items, and actually this is the palette that I wanna use, is the Sydney Grace Unbreakable Bond Palette. I purchased the light, so I bought this. They didn't send it to me. But I do love Sydney Grace eyeshadows, and I did a video a long time ago on the Enduring Love palette. That was my first introduction to them, and phenomenal quality. But look at those shades. Oh my goodness. I did already swatch these on my hand, but I haven't worn them. So I think this is what we're going to use today. was sent to me from the brand, the brand Florasis. The packaging, oh my goodness, if you could see the other items that they sent to me. Here's the lipstick. I mean, just so exquisite. And the actual eyeshadows themselves are all embossed. And I'll be doing a look with this one. I know some of you have requested kind of a combination of teal and peach, so I'm going to do that. But I'm going to go into this shade. Check this out. I mean, smooth, buttery, and so beautiful. I'm gonna do this I'm on the inner corner. I'll probably touch this up after I do concealer, but I just want to lighten and brighten the lid. Oh, love a shade like this. Because I'm going to go in with a really, I wanna use that bright lipstick. That's why I kinda of wanna to tone down the eyes just a little bit. 
I heard another YouTuber talking about how she'll start off saying, I'm just gonna do a real natural clean girl look. And all of a sudden she ends up with a smoky eye and full on makeup. And I kind of feel like that myself, especially on a Saturday. You know, it's my day that I can just play. And sometimes I wanna just have a little fun and go a little wild and crazy. I don't have anywhere serious to be today. So it's always kind of fun. And you guys are along, so why not, right? So overall, impressive pigmentation and blendability, everything that I used today. I'll be doing some more looks with this palette, so stay tuned. Just going around the edge. Okay, let's just, because it's that kind of day, let's try this Eye Method Beauty Winged Eyeliner Stamp for Perfect Wings. All right, you know I have hooded eyes. And this says it's a 10 millimeter. I don't know how big that is. Let's find out. All right, so we've got two. I'm guessing that one, yeah, one is for right eye, one is for left eye. And what else is in here? All right, we have instructions. I haven't watched any videos on this, so <laughs> this is not an expert application video. Three easy steps. Line the stamp end up to the edge of your eye. Press down firmly to stamp the wing onto your skin. Then line using the eyeliner pen included to fill in and shape. Well, it sounds easy enough, right? Does this tell me which eye? Okay, left eye. <laughs> you know, not that we couldn't figure it out. All right, there's no, there's no shaker ball. And I just kind of want to see how much pressure. All right, okay. Not a whole lot of pressure needed. It is nice and black. I'm a little nervous. All right. Uh, with the hood and the fold, I'm going to avoid the fold of my eye. So it's going to look a little low until I get this completely on. Okay, I guess I'm going to line it. Oh, I touched my eye already. Wow. Okay. You can see I didn't get a full-on stamp. I just lightly touched my skin, but that's kind of what I wanted. All right, let's do the wings first, shall we? Oh dear. All right, here's the right wing. I'm gonna do the same thing. Okay. Okay, they look like they're at least going in the right direction. You can see this one, it's more hooded. So I have to do a little more work. And again, I did not press it down. I'm not gonna go back over it because if you've ever tried to, you know, go over a stamp again and yeah. All right, I don't know about this marker. Yeah, these are not my favorite kind, but let's give it a shot. I'm gonna go in now with my thin, fine little BK Beauty. This is the 208 brush. And a little bit of this. And let's just fix this here. Once we put on mascara, that wing won't seem quite so dramatic, but let's see how easily or not. Ooh, hey, look at that. Oh my goodness. I guess I'm gonna go around with um, eyeliner stamps on the back of my hand. Instead of being from a nightclub, I was at the beauty club today. There's my stamp to prove it. Okay, let's see here. Since I'm using powder foundation, I need to apply my concealer first. We have a new one, where did it go? I bought two colors of the Fenty Pro Filter instant retouch concealer during the 21 days of beauty sale. This is 210. So I'm just going to apply a little bit. I'm not going to go too crazy. I've used one of these. I'm not sure which one. It might have been this one. Once or twice. And I wasn't blown away by it, but we'll give it a try again today. I'm trying to stay away from my lines because that is where my concealer can look really dry. OK, 
Okay, actually that is not looking terrible. I didn't use any under eye corrector and you saw I just did a couple of dots. All right, I'm just gonna do a little concealing in <laughs> a couple areas where I've got this extra redness. Okay, we're gonna give this a try. So I have the shade Golden Medium and I tested this out and I think it's actually a really good match for my current sunless tanner right now. This comes with a sponge. One side is pink, one side is white. And I have washed this so it got a little stained, but the white side is when you want to use the foundation wet. So W white, W wet. And then the pink side is if you want to use it dry. Well, let's try it a little bit dry first and just see what kind of coverage. All right, let's go in with the brush next. Okay, up close, it looks a little dry, um, but I do feel like it's doing pretty good coverage. Now, full coverage is with the wet sponge. So, well, why not? Let's just do it, right? Okay, I can't remember if you're supposed to actually spray the foundation or the sponge. I know this is extra, but I have this, so why not use it? It's the Evian Facial Spray. It's just water. It's just fancy. I have it for my kit. I'm gonna spray the actual foundation and then go in with my sponge. Okay. All right. Oh, this could be scary. All right. What? It's so funny. I actually would not say it's necessarily more coverage, but the finish is different. Do you see how much glow versus this one? Interesting. I'm going to take my brush and go on the other side. Go over. So I think I prefer the matte look on me personally. I don't love that it is showing texture. Hmm. I don't know. That is going to be something else I'm going to have to experiment more with. I feel like that in general is the case with powder foundations. You have to find the right primer underneath and the right way to prep your particular skin type. I don't know. It's not an instant love and that might be why <laughs> it got stuck in my drawer. All right, we need some color now. Let's see how products work over the top of it. Ooh. Check out this beautiful blush. This was sent to me from one of my sweet subscribers. It's Makeup Revolution and it's called Pink Lady. I think that describes me. Those of you who know me know that I love my pinks. And this is that kind of beautiful in from the cold look, but it's very buildable. Look at that, so pretty. Oh my goodness, and very budget friendly. We like that. Oh yeah. Okay, I don't wanna to add too much because have this crazy lipstick. Actually, let's do that next. Ironically, the BK Beauty lip liner, the bright pink one, is also called Pink Lady. Who knew? Let's use this. Okay, let's just go in with a very sheer layer. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, that's not so scary, right? Okay, I think that's very wearable and it doesn't make my teeth yellow. That's a hard thing to accomplish. All right, let's, let me show you though how much color. So it can really be built up and these are quite long wearing. You know, when I was cleaning my house yesterday, it stayed on for a long time. All right, I'm just gonna fill in my brows really quick and do some mascara and then we will move on to the next part of our day. Here is our finished look. My hair is a little crazy, you 
know, it's Saturday crazy here. I did tone down my lip color just a little bit with Max Yash lipstick. And I just thought that, you know, I would tone it down since it's Saturday, but I definitely love that Lisa Eldridge one. So as you can see, I am sitting in my closet office. If you haven't seen that video of my renovation, I will link that down below. But my next task for today, I got to do some computer work. I actually um, am in charge of doing the bulletin for our church. Throughout the course of time, we always have people volunteer to help out, but then, you know, they're not able to anymore or they move or whatever. And so my husband and I usually have to end up picking up the slack. So my job is I do the computer part, send it to my husband, he prints it off. And then I also need to do my Sunday song. I record the video portion on my phone and then I do the audio portion on the digital recorder, need to transfer it to the computer, sync it up with the video, you know, a few steps. So that's what we're gonna be working on here for the next little while. I finished the bulletin, but I had to go get a little snack of just some dried roasted almonds and some dried mandarins. These are all from Trader Joe's, so good. On Saturdays, my husband and I like to usually do liner or leper, whatever you want to call it, kind of in between lunch and dinner. So I usually try not to eat too much at lunchtime. So I just do a little snacking. So this is going to help fuel me to get me through now my edit of Sunday song. And by the way, I use Final Cut Pro to edit my videos. It's been an overall really great tool. So better get to work. Okay, I'm officially done with my computer work for today. So I am going to now go and do some unboxings. I am not only going to open up my daily look box, try everything on for you, but I noticed that I may have gotten another PR package. So that's exciting. But while we're talking about beauty fun, I wanted to show you my nails before I forgot. These are the Dashing Diva Glaze. These are the ones that you have to cure under the LED lamp. But oh my goodness, I just love these. These are probably my all-time favorite. And they are called In the Buff. And it says they're a velvet finish, but in the sun, you can see there's like this shimmer, almost like a holographic shimmer that shows up. But they look really nice and natural. Oh my goodness, I think I'm going to have to get another backup box. <laughs> I love these so much. And I applied these, I think, on... Tuesday. So these have been on there for quite a while. So, you know, they're hanging in there strong. All right, let's go open up some boxes. Okay. We have a couple of boxes that I have already opened. I'll just show you. This is a whole set of skincare from the brand Go Pure. And they were so sweet to send me basically a whole regimen, skincare regimen. So I'm excited to just dive into this. The other PR package that I just got from Vici, I got another pair of glasses because I'm needing readers at the piano now. It's getting bad, oh my goodness. So I just needed a straight pair of readers that I could actually try out. I'm gonna try these out at the church, but look at these. Aren't they cute? I think they're really fun. And they're super lightweight, love that. Let's dig in. So this first box, it is a box from Revlon. So, um, I get my own little display case, it says Revlon, but oh, this is one of those really interesting lash curlers, a good pair of tweezers. Oh my goodness, they must have known that my current pair is pretty much ready for the trash. And then Easy Glide Spring, what are these? Comfort and Control, oh, nail clippers. Oh, these look like my jewelry tools. <laughs> I used to make jewelry. And these look like wire cutters, don't they? Okay, these will be interesting. These would be the perfect tool to try out with the Dashing Diva nail strips, especially these glaze ones, because these ones you really need to trim. So interesting. Okay, I'll give those a try. Okay, let me clear off the table and let's open the huge daily look box. Oh my goodness, like this, this has some weight to it. 
a personal style note similar to Stitch Fix. I will read this in a moment, but my stylist is Ashley. So let's see what Ashley has styled for me. Okay, so I'm going to take all of these things out and show you. I kind of wanted to see how the box is packed. I don't think I got any shoes. Nope, I did not request any shoes. So, ooh, some fun things. All right, let's pull these things out. Okay, before I try everything on, both my husband and I are really hungry. So we are gonna go grab some liner and then I'll take you along to the church where I'll do my practice and introduce you to our other two dogs if you've not met them already. And then we'll come back and do a little fashion show and finish some laundry and do a little ironing and get everything ready for tomorrow. <laughs> okay, lots more to come. Oh, hi. New baby. Yes. Hi. Well, hi, Miss Daisy. Hi. 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 Yeah, this is a sweet day. Oh. Sweet bear bear. Oh, yeah. 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 You gonna go say hi to mama? You gonna say hi to mama? Daisy, Daisy, Daisy. Well, look at that, baby. Yeah, you say it. You say it. This is Daisy. Daisy is about five. She is a rescue off the streets and then from the shelter. And then this is Bear. There's Bear Bear. Hi, Bear. Hi. Bear is six years old. You guys, she's your wolf boy. Yes. Yes. We inherited this boy. Yes, we judge wolf boy. Yes, daddy was homeless and then died. Yes. So taking over care of this boy. Yeah, boy. So here we are at the church and we got our church dogs and this beautiful, beautiful perilous tree. Isn't it so pretty in full bloom right now? All right, I need to go in and do some practicing. So I'm running through the music for tomorrow. The song that I'm doing, special song, is what I'm playing for Sunday songs. So if you haven't listened to that, I'll link it down below. So I ran through all of the music for tomorrow and I tested out my reading glasses over on the other piano and they've been so helpful. What a difference. Oh my goodness. So let's get started practicing now. today. Now I need to go wash my car and then we're going to go home and have a little fashion show. Let's try on some clothes. All right, we are starting off really strong with this first outfit. I have to say this is probably my favorite of everything that they sent. This animal print top, you can see it has just really, really girly, frilly sleeves right here. I love the fabric, the drape of it. I love the animal print. It has just a subtle light pink and brown with this light olive. And then the pants are so comfortable. I have a pair of democracy jeans and they are the most comfortable. They have this really wonderful comfort waistband. So it's all elastic, but it has the button closure. They're the right length for me. I have a hard time. These you can unroll and they become an ankle jean. I love the detailing on the pockets. And they are a kind of body hugging style, but they're super comfortable because they're stretchy. I love doing a French tuck with something like this and adding this nice belt would dress it up. And you can see kind of the different options with shoes as well. I think this is going to be one of my favorites this spring. 
and I can see both of these pieces working well with other things in my wardrobe. So definitely plan on keeping both of these products. This next outfit, I thought I was really going to love because both of these items are super soft. The sweater is so soft and luxurious, feels very comfortable. I do love the puffy sleeve and I don't mind the band at the waist, but I did feel like paired with these black pants that it did kind of want to rise up a little bit. The pants, they are very snug. So I don't know if by getting a size up, if I would love them. My favorite thing actually on these pants is the hem. I love the length and then I love the split on the side. I think that is a very flattering leg line. The fabric is nice and thick, but I felt like they're snug enough that I would not feel real comfortable wearing the top portion of it without a long sweater or jacket over the backside. So I just think that this is too much up in the air for me to actually keep. Next, we have this really flowy cream colored shirt and I really love the fit of this. It's super soft, super comfy. It is, however, sheer enough that it needs a white tank underneath or something. I love pairing something like this with skinny jeans and this is a top that I would definitely do the French tuck in the front. I love it paired with a belt and then it's a shirt that I feel like you can dress up or down depending on your shoes so I paired it with the snake skin shoes or to also pair really well with sandals. This blouse could work well for me on Sundays with dress slacks. I really do love this shirt. Next up is this kind of coppery yellow, kind of rusty colored shirt. It's by Democracy and I do love a lot of things about it. I love just the drape of it. I do love that subtle print on there. I love the overall styling of it, except the sleeve length, the elastic there is just loose enough to where it won't stay above the elbow. So I don't know if you have tops like this, but it, that can drive me crazy. And then just overall the color of it, just not a real flattering color for me. So I think this is going back. Next up, we have this really pale blue tinsel shirt. This is the softest fabric. Oh my goodness. I love it just because of that. And here I've paired it. It's open with a white tank underneath. Of course, this could go well with any color tank or a t-shirt. And I do feel like that is how I am seeing this type of shirt worn. Of course, I am seeing something like this paired with really loose fitting jeans, but that is not a good look on me. So this is definitely something I would pair with skinny jeans or even maybe black thick leggings. But on the other hand, I do feel like sometimes this is one of those shirts that I think is a good idea. And I don't find myself reaching for it. If I button it up and tuck in the front, it actually does look pretty cute with a belt and the jeans. So I'm going to look at the price and just see if the price per wear, if I think I'm going to get the best price per wear with this one. If, I don't know, even though it is so soft and cozy, this one might actually go back. We shall see. Next, we have this very thin, super, again, super soft, comfy jacket. It is almost a very light tinsel type material. I do love how this feels. And here I've paired it just with a simple white tank and again, the same jeans. And I've got flip flops because again, I feel like this is a very casual piece. One of those throw on layering type of pieces. I tried it zipped up and snapped and then at the bottom you can see it has kind of a drawstring. I don't know that I really love it zipped up. But then I noticed that the sleeves actually do roll up so you can roll up the sleeves. There is a tab that you can actually um, that you can actually snap the sleeves up so that they stay rolled up. I think though this is another one of those things that it's the color. It's not quite dark enough of a gray for me and it's not quite a brown and so I'm just not quite sure 
that this is something that I'm going to reach for very often. All right, we have a dress and I do love flowers. I love this poofy sleeve. I love the ruffle edge detail. It's flowy. I could tell this would be a really nice, cool summer dress. I actually love the sleeve length on this. Here I'm showing it with the belt. If I take the belt off, <laughs> This is something that is just hard for me to pull off that umpire waist where it is flowy over the stomach area, which can be good to disguise a stomach. But for me, it just is not quite a real flattering look. So I feel like this one definitely I would need to wear it with the belt. Now, I do love the combination of a dress like this with a jean jacket. So this is the one that they sent from Liverpool. And I think it's a really cute look, but overall, I don't feel like I love the dress enough to keep it. The jacket, on the other hand, I actually do really love this. And I do have a number of sundresses that I think this would look really cute with. I love that it just is a little lighter weight than my other jean jackets. And so I think this might actually be a keep. Okay, I've separated out the pieces. So, so far, these three, I think are definite keeps, plus possibly that cream colored shirt and maybe the tensile jacket. I'm again going to think about that. I feel like these five pieces, I don't think I'm going to keep those. So let me know what you think in the comment section below, but I feel like these are a good start. If I keep at least three pieces, I get 50% off one piece. If I keep five pieces, then I get 50% off two pieces. So there is a little bit of an incentive, of course, to keep more items, but I will have to think through this based on the cost of each item. All right, guys, that brings us to the end of the day. It is almost eight o'clock and I have one more load of laundry been sitting in the dryer waiting to be folded. So I'm going to do that and then put my feet up and relax the rest of the evening. Thank you for coming along with me today. It was fun to share my Saturday activities with you. I have not gotten to change out my refrigerator filter that I might do maybe tomorrow afternoon. And my toilet handle, I did pick it up from Lowe's, but didn't get that replaced yet. So, you know, Maybe I'll include that in another video, but I think I'm going to wrap this up for today. It was fun to bring you along, trying on all my clothes, and I will continue to keep you posted. Again, this was my first experience with Daily Look, and I enjoyed it. And I will keep you posted on how the return process goes and how easy that is and then do some comparisons between that and Stitch Fix. So as always, check the description box below for additional information. Click where it says more and then click more again, and you'll see a list and links of all of the products that I showed you today from the shower bombs to the makeup that I use today and other items as well. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.